What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over Style TTS 2 which is a text-to-speech engine that produces really good results and this is something that I talked about a few months ago in a uh, video before but haven't really dived into it until recently. I've gone ahead and created a web UI and I'm going to be making it an installable package or a downloadable package that you can just download and use and so I'm going to go over just some things that I've been working on and let's go ahead and hop into it. So right now I've currently got a model on my voice training but that is beyond this we are just gonna run into the web UI so I'm gonna oops well it looks like that canceled my training uh, well I'm gonna continue that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to launch the uh, the web UI right here and so it's going to load all of the models and whatnot and then it's going to launch so here it is at this URL so I'm gonna launch it and we are met with this Gradio interface right here. And it looks very similar to the AI voice calling repository, which um, I took some inspiration from that. So I've got a, uh, well, my voice here. And I'm going to inference from the pre-trained model first. So the pre-trained model is the one that was distributed with Style TTS2. Um, the original author trained and released their weights. The only issue with that is it's quite difficult to get all installed and up and running if you don't have much experience with these type of things. So I have the pre-trained model loaded and we can do zero shot text to speech. So here is a voice sample. Um, this is a voice sample of my voice right here. And I'm going to start some generations. So this first generation is going to take quite a bit of time. Number one, I'm currently running training right now. So it's going to take additional time since I'm running everything on my GPU. And so here we go. We have an output. The second generation is faster. I went ahead and also just stopped training because um, I'm recording a video. So let me generate. And the second generation is going to take less than a second. And let's take a listen. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. Okay, so you might notice that doesn't really sound too close to me. Uh, we can try this with another voice real quick and see how that sounds. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. Okay, so this voice sample is Lex Friedman from the Lex Friedman podcast. And as you can tell, it's not too impressive. But it does get much better once you start um, fine-tuning it and training models up for it. So here I have a Melina sample from Elden Ring. I went ahead and trained a Melina voice. And let's generate a audio sample from this and take a listen to it. He didn't say any more. Oh, we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. So to me, that sounds pretty good. And um, and then I'm going to go ahead and change it to uh, me for reference audio. And we'll take a listen to this one to see how close it sounds to my voice. Once again, this one is only trained on like one um, epoch. So I need to go and train this more. But let's take a listen to this. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. Okay, so that is a little bit better than what we had uh, from the pre-trained model. But once again, this one, I need to go back and train up um, a bit more so that we can get it sounding closer to my voice. And I also have some other options here. Um, that I need to kind of figure out exactly what they do. Um, I know you can change them embedding scale, alpha, beta, and then diffusion steps. Diffusion steps does increase quality um, when you go up, but sometimes I find out that, uh, you know, 30 sounds pretty much the same as like 100. Um, it doesn't really matter until you get like to 400 that the quality starts increasing. Um, so I just leave mine at 30 for the fastest inference. And then. There are some other stuff in here that I haven't yet implemented, such as training. Um, I do need to add the training um, stuff into here, and then I need to, you know, make a settings tab. But that is all to be determined. Um, I haven't done everything yet, but just wanted to share that it is in the works and that things are being made, in fact, for this. Now, if you go and hop into my GitHub repository, actually, I've got the web UI there, but I'm afraid that if you don't have any coding knowledge or anything like that, you won't be able to probably get this up and running. But 
this is just a repository for my updates right now. I will actually be changing it and uploading it to its own repository later so that I can keep track of things a little bit better and then just turning this into more of like a frozen package so that um, I can do all of my updates there. But yeah, I do have a runtime package that I've already got um, tested and I've already tried it out so that if you guys want to install it, you just have to download a single package off of Hugging Face. Everything's already pre-installed and you can just run it. So that's the same thing that I did with my AI voice cloning repository. I've done the same thing for Style TTS 2 and we'll see how long this takes me, but I reckon it might be mid July or late July when I'm finished with implementing all of these things just because of how much time it takes to, to do all of this. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. There are a few more things that I want to add to this web interface. Of course, I want to do like RVC um, because the voice to voice for RVC allows you to match voices much better and all of that. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Just kind of more of an update video and yeah. Once again, I'd like to thank all of the members of my channel for supporting me and um, I'll see you guys later.